way, way back in the day, I mean, you might be too young to remember, ladies used to wear something called a slip. And if your slip was hanging or showing and someone told you, you didn't get upset and offended. You ran and went somewhere privately and adjusted yourself so that your slip didn't show. It wasn't for everyone to see. See, my problem is nowadays, are we getting offended when someone points out to us that our slip ups and our mess ups are showing? You know, are we embracing the correction or are we automatically jumping to Matthew 7, 1? Don't judge me lest you want to be judged. What is our position today? Are we open to correction or are we constantly trying to justify our behavior? Wearing a slip on the outside of a dress is not very attractive. However, that seems to be the, the theme of the day. We don't care about our slip ups and our mess ups showing anymore. We just don't want anybody to say anything about them. I want to challenge you to take a little read through of Matthew chapter 7. Don't stop at verse 1. Too many people are doing that. But scurry on down to verse 5 where it points out, first correct yourself and then you can correct your brother. My brothers and sisters in the Lord, the only way that we're going to grow is to allow this iron to sharpen iron. Sharpen one another. Hold one another accountable. Don't become offended if someone points out a, an area in your life that deserves correction. Be grateful, receive it in love, and grow from it. After all, just like slips, I don't think you really want all of your mess-ups and slip-ups to show for the whole world to see. Matter of fact, I think God is looking for a church without a spot or a wrinkle. I think we need to get it together. How about you? I'm T.G. Thornton, and thank you for tuning in to the Tuesday Morning Encouragement. Have a blessed week in the morning.